This video is going to be how to install a Curt no cut wiring kit onto a Ford Focus. To be 100% clear with you, this kit works on every vehicle but the ZTS, to my knowledge, which is what I have. My vehicle has a three bulb system, and this kit only works with two bulb tail light systems. The information is still really beneficial, so I wanted to post it out and help people. If you have a two bulb system, just ignore the top bulb on my tail light. Everything else is going to be the exact same. The Kurt kit part number is 55344 and can be purchased on Amazon directly from Kurt for the lowest price. This is what comes with the kit. Silicone to seal the rear boot, cover for the four pin wires, zip ties, and the wiring harness. The wires will be separated sending the yellow clip to the driver's side and the green clip to the passenger side. They are also going to be labeled A and B for ease of use. First you want to start by removing the rear back panels in the trunk of the vehicle and removing them from the vehicle to give you extra room to work. Next you are going to want to make a large slit in the rear boot for the plugs to go through. Be careful not to cut any other wires. Next you want to disconnect your brake light wires and connect the male end of the kit to the factory bulb attachment. After that take the male factory wiring and plug it into the Kurt female plug. Since my clips were broken, I used electrical tape to secure them together. This is how my wiring looked once I finished. Remember, ignore the top bulb on my vehicle since this kit does not work on my vehicle. At this point, the only thing left to do on this side is to seal back up the boot. I used a little super glue before applying the silicone. I also applied silicone inside the vehicle to make sure that it was 100% sealed. Next I went over to the passenger side and completed the exact same steps except with the green wire. Before I close this up I want to show you guys exactly how I ran the wires so that they'd be hidden. I have the yellow wires going down along. I pulled back the inside material and there's the actual wires for the tail lights already running underneath there. So I just zip tied them off as I came along until I got to right here. I'll bring the camera down a little bit, get it back in focus for you. But you can see that there's a curve right here. And this is going to fit right up in there real nice and it won't affect anything goes all the way along to here and I got it zip tied right here with the green and white wire coming down and the yellow wire and then I have them going together here now what I did was I taped on the inside I apologize this is so bad it's hard to film in here but I, I used electrical tape on the inside of the wires to keep them nice and solid and secure and then I covered them up with the conduit conduit goes out. I got a zip tie every now and then so I didn't have to use electrical tape. And I actually used almost the entire box. So I only have about a quarter of it left. Now that that's all done, I'm going to set it up. And we're going to test out the tail lights again. Make sure the turn signals work. Make sure the brakes work now that everything is all set up before we put the interior back in. Alright, so it's been a couple days since I worked on the trailer wiring, but I wanted to show you guys a way to test your trailer wiring without having a trailer and how to troubleshoot some issues that you're having with it. So, right here, I have an adapter that plugs into the 4-pin. I got from Harbor Freight. It was only, I believe it was $2.99. It was either $2.99 or $3.99. But it's got tail lights, left turn signal, and right turn signal. Now I'm going to show you something on mine that I knew I was going to have the issue with, but I'm going to show you why it's a good reason to test it. Uh, 
Alright, so as you can see, I have the trailer lights on right now. And it's showing that the tail lights are on. Now I'm going to hit my brakes. That's to show you that both the left turn and the right turn will light up. But here's where I have an issue. Because my vehicle has a separate brake light and a separate turn signal, the standard wiring harness doesn't work. Oops. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video was able to help you install your no cut wiring harness from Kurt. It's a great design, but just doesn't work with my vehicle. And that was solely my fault. Also, on a side note, you are not able to splice the turn signal wire into the turn signal wire on the adapter because this kit will cross feed into each other. You have to buy a specific setup for this vehicle.